Hi, my name is Andrea. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful cedar bench. This time I'm taking you to the lumber mill. On my shopping list there are red cedar boards. Mr. Valentin is planing and jointing boards. With help of Miriam, they are cutting boards to wheat on table saw. And I'm back! Look! With new t-shirt, grown hair and beard. I'm taking the boards inside and sorting them on table to find out the top side of the bench and marking them with chalk for pocket hole joinery. You can notice that I was actually making two of these benches. Since I made a hole in my jig, I always make sure to adjust top color and jig to material size used. Here I'm using 1 inch thick material. This is a kind reminder if you didn't already drill your jig, like I did. Then it's just time to drill all the holes in boards used for solid top bench. I use glue, screws and a face clamp to join boards. I mark the edges square and I use circular saw to cut them. Here I'm putting boards together to form the legs for the bench. In the middle I was using two pieces for some legs. That saves some material and at the end it won't be seen. Then I screwed some screws into the boards so they don't slide. Then I clamped the piece. It was a 4 day process since I only own few clamps. And now it's just time to wait for glue to dry. The next day I take off the clamps. I was using packing tape on the table so the glue doesn't stick to it. I also unscrew all of the screws I put earlier. Now when using power tools, use all the protection you need. Your health is the most valuable possession you own. Extend the quality of your life. Here I was cutting the edges of the leg square. Then I used block plane to get rid of the glue squeeze out and I was planing the leg square. I also used the plane on top. Make sure your plane is really sharp and that you have a birdhouse in your garden. When sanding with belt sander, I always secure the piece with clamp. I learned that with piece in my leg, lucky me, and a nice scratch on my hand. I also sand the edges where I cut with circular saw. Then I cut the sharp corners with a block plane.
I changed paper grit on my belt sander from 80 to 120 and I repeat all the sanding. Then I use my other sander with 150 grit paper to smooth out all of the scratches. This project has a lot of sanding. Using a combination square, I can find the same distance for the legs from the edge. Then I mark the positions with pencil and I number the legs with their orientation. I measure for the bottom support between legs. Then I plane the bottom even though it won't be seen. My plane is very cheap, but with sharp blade it makes wonders. Then I wipe all of the dust and apply some mineral oil to protect the wood from contracting or expanding because for a few next days we have had lots of changes in temperature and humidity. I sand all of the legs with 120 grit and I follow it with 150 grit sandpaper. Now I can measure and cut legs to length, taking in account the thickness of top. I put a stop block on the table for repeated cuts. Using sander, I round up the bottom sides of the legs. Then I cut bottom supports to size. I cut two of them together for equal sizes. Now I mark all of the pieces for pocket holes and I drill them. And again, using belt sander, I sand all of the supports. I prepare all of the pieces for dry joining. Hi! For a spacer of bottom supports, I was using the same thickness of wood. First, I joined the short supports and later the long ones. Then I plane supports flush with legs so the top sits flat. Later I replaced the screws for longer and stronger ones. I put the frame together and then I cut some corner blocks to reinforce the structure. By the way, do you know where is this bunny from?
I joined the top with base using pocket screws. Then I install corner blocks with 3 inch screws to the legs. I used wood sealer as a primer. I leave it to dry and sand everything with 320 sandpaper. Then I wipe all of the dust and repeat with a layer of lacquer. When this was cured I sand again with 400 grit paper. Finally, I apply my almond oil beeswax mix and leave it for 30 minutes to absorb it. Then I wipe off the excess. I do this procedure two times, although I showed it only once. At the end, I put the signature. This is explained more in my first video, Gym Equipment. I learned this method from John Hayes. And here it is the finished red cedar bench. Now it's just time to attach it to my bike trailer and deliver it. I hope you have enjoyed watching. Don't forget to like, comment and share. For more videos please subscribe to my channel. See you soon, take care and thanks for watching.